how high does Tazi Spears rise? Because right now, Tazi Spears is running back 26 in the consensus rankings, but I have him down at 35. And I have some concerns that Tazi Spears is not going to be the bell cow back for the Tennessee Titans. I think that they are in the mix to bring in one of these veteran running backs to split carries or split touches with Tazi Spears. Spears is a very efficient running back, but he doesn't have any ACLs. You know, <laughs> like, sorry, his burst score is phenomenal, 91st percentile. But he's not a super speed guy. He is super efficient. We talk about true yards per carry, 26 yards per touch, six juke rate was fourth breakaway run rate was fifth. And this 27th and breakaway runs in limited capacity and 11th in yards per route run. So he's a very efficient third down change of pace type of back. But I'm not confident that Tazi Spears is going to be the the. 18 carries and five receptions per game running back that some people are trying to project him to be in this 2024 Tennessee offense. Yeah. I don't think that Tajay Spears is going to be able to handle the role of a every down three down workhorse back. I just think he's a little bit too small. I mean, I have 10, 200 pounds. Is that going to be big enough to handle hits from 300 pound, 350 pound linemen? Week in, week out? I personally don't think so. I know he's more of a field stretcher where he'd rather get east and west rather than run the ball north and south. South, get out and use his speed and use his agility to be able to make plays. But I just don't see him being able to last a full season if he has to carry the load every single game for a 17-game season in that offense. I think you're right. I think they do bring someone in. I think he is a great change of pace back. A little bit bigger, but I think someone who really is similar is Darren Sproles. Sort of mm. someone who can get out on the edge, make the play, but isn't quite big enough to handle that full every down sort of back roll. Yeah, I'm looking here and seeing who could be that type of back. And I was like, oh, Derrick Henry would be perfect. Like, it's sad that the Tennessee Titans would probably move on from him because I think that would be a good fit for the Tennessee. Like, that's what they're looking for. They need a thunder and lightning type of duo. And that's how Spears and Henry were being used for the majority of the season because the efficiency is going to come from Tazi Spears. You just need a guy who's going to protect your Will Levis protect his blind side me though. personally i think that the firing of mike vrabel signals full-on rebuild and i think they have a young quarterback in will levis they have derrick henry going away they traded kevin byer to the eagles during the middle of the season so it seems like they're on the path to want to rebuild so i don't necessarily know that they're going to bring in a zeke a Barkley or a bigger name free agent in the running game, I think they might try to take their chances on someone and draft someone like a Blake Corum and get someone a little bit higher in the draft and see if they can develop him into being an every down sort of back. Yeah, that's possible. Attacking it in the draft is a pathway for certain. 